Hey, sixth grade, today is lesson 5.6. We're finding the whole when given the part and percent. So this time, in the problem, they're going to tell us the percent and the amount that represents. Our job is going to be to figure out the whole or the total. That means we have to figure out what 100% is. Let's look at an example. Last night, I read four pages, which is 20% of the chapter. You can see that those are color-coded. It's saying which is, which means four pages equals 20%. I'm going to go down to my percent bar, find 20%, and write four down below. Now the question at the end says, how many pages are in the whole chapter? What does 100% equal? So I need to find the number way here at the end that goes right underneath 100%. Let's think this through. We know that 0% is zero. So we need a number that goes right here in between zero, 0 and 4. And in this case, it's really easy. I know the number halfway in between is 2. But if you didn't know, I want you to notice that it takes 1, 2 of these rectangles to make 4. So that's 4 split into 2 equals 2. This 2 is what goes there. right? So that means that every time we get to 10%, we need to add 2 more. So I'm going to add 2, 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, and then I'm going to keep going, plus 2 is 10, 12, you get the idea, 14, 16, 18. The number underneath 100% is 20, which means that the whole chapter, or 100%, is 20 pages. I read a pretty small amount. I read, I'm going to color this in, just these first two parts. So I actually have a long ways left to go in the chapter. Okay, let's do a problem that doesn't have context. So it's just got a bunch of math numbers. It says eight is 40%. This is means equals, means they have the same value. So if I can find 40%, then I can write eight underneath. Eight is 40%. What is the whole amount? What is 100%? Right. So let's just zoom in on what we do know. We know a zero goes here. I can see there are one, two, three, four parts, and all together they make eight, which means this is the divide by problem. Eight split into four parts, which equals two. Hey, we're going to count by two again. Two, four, six. There's the eight. See how that works? Keep on going. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Yep, the answer is 20 again. It's a different problem with different numbers, but in both cases, the whole is 20. Maybe this time it's about Pringles or M&Ms. Maybe it's about a book, but it's probably not. If 8 is at the end of 40%, then 20, whoops, then 20 is at the end of 100%. All right, next problem. 16 is 25%. All right, so now I need to find 25% down here. Oh, all right, I can see that I know where 25% is. It's right here. But that's not very helpful because there's no line there. So I'm actually going to use a different percent bar. I'm going to use this one. Because 25 is a factor of 100, I can count by 25s going across the top. I'm going to get rid of this top one so it's not distracting us. Do, 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 do. Okay, so going back to the sentence, it said 16 is 25%. So I'm going to put 16 underneath 25%. Zero goes underneath 0%. This means this is a pattern of plus 16. 16 plus 16, I know is 32. Here we go, keep the pattern going. Plus 16, pretty sure that's 48. And then if I add 16 more, just to be sure, I'm gonna put it in my calculator. 48 plus 16 is 64. This time, the whole is not 20. The whole is 64. So if we put 16 at 25%, then 100% is 64. All right, so did you notice that we're actually doing the opposite of our last lesson? In the lessons before this, we knew the number that was underneath 100%. But this time we're being asked to solve for it. So we're doing the opposite. So we can do the opposite of the shortcut. We cannot multiply the percent by the whole. 
because we don't know what this number is underneath 100%. Remember, we had to figure out it was 64. If we knew that number, we could multiply the percent by that number, but we don't know it. So instead, we're going to take the part that we do know and divide it by the percent, right? Let's go back to our first example and you'll see what I mean. We knew the part that I read. I read four pages. So down below, I'm gonna write my divide by problem. Four pages divided by, and I knew four pages was 20%. Remember that was from our story? So I'm gonna do four divided by 20%, but that's really hard to do in a calculator. So I'm going to change 20% into its decimal form. That's 0 0.20 then I'm going to put that in my calculator. 4 divided by 0 and 20 hundredths. Look what answer we get. It's 20. That answer should look familiar because that is the answer that was at the end of our bar. That was 100%. Let's try the next one. This time we knew that 8 was 40%. So our divide by is 8 divided by 40% is 0 and 40 hundredths. Put that in our calculator, 8 divided by 0 and 40 hundredths. 20. Hey, that's the answer that we got at the end of our bar. All right? let's try the next one. 16 is 25%. So this was the information we knew, 16 and 25%. So for our divide by, we're going to do 16 divided by the percent as a decimal, 0 and 25 hundredths equals, oops, bring that back, 16 divided by 0 and 25 hundredths, 64. Miss Toivola, this keeps on working. Yeah, it does. 64 is the same answer that we got. Now, these problems here where you get easy percents like 20% or 40% or 80%, they're not that hard to do on a percent bar. Even this one wasn't that hard. But the last problem that I have would be almost impossible to do on a percent bar. This says 16% is 10. So I need to find where 16% is. Oof, that's right here. And the problem is you can't count by 16s to make 100%. But the number that goes there is 10. What I could do is estimate how many chunks of blue here fit in this entire bar. So I could say there's one, here's the second one, so that would be 20, here's the next one, that would be 30. So if I was going to estimate, I don't know, I'd say maybe 60, well 30 is a little less than half, so 68 maybe? That's me just guessing. So let's do the shortcut. 10 divided by 16% equals 10 divided by 16%, 62 and a half, really close to my answer. Would have been almost impossible to do with a percent bar, but with the shortcut, we can do it. One last problem, 52 is 64%. So I'm gonna find where I think 64% would go. Put it here, so 64%, and they said 52 is 64%. So if this much from zero all the way to that purple line is 52, then what number is going to go at the end? Well, I can see that this um, arrow is way bigger than this arrow. So this arrow over here on the right, it can't equal 52, right? So I don't know, maybe I'll guess. Maybe that one's like plus 30, just a guess. And I'm gonna say my estimate is 82, just a guess. Let's find the exact answer. We take the value, 52, the part, divide it by its decimal version of the percent, 0 and 64 hundredths, equals 52 divided by 0 and 64 hundredths equals 81 and 25 hundredths. Wow, my guess was really close. I actually hadn't done that in the calculator before. This is how you can find the exact whole given any percent and any value of that percent. If 64% is 52, then we divide 52 by its decimal form of the percent. That answer will always give us the whole. So instead of 82, it was really 81 and 25 hundredths. So take a little practice, but not much. I think you're going to catch on quickly.